We are now in the coast of Poland and our goal is to travel across Europe to the coast of Portugal. But we are going to do it without any money, which means sleeping outside, hitchhiking, eating from the dumpster, and showering in public bathrooms. <laughs> Traveling is known to be very fun, but expensive. Will we have the same fun without money? This is the first time that I'm going to do it with another person. So now what we do? We just walk. We also have GPS to know where we are. In my time, there were no GPS. He was doing hitchhiking 30 years ago, before the internet. Much. So we're going to borrow some things along the way. Do you expect me to do the same? Jesus Christ. This is the way that we're going to drink and eat. We're going to find stuff in the dumpster. But we have to do this completely legally because we have a high school teacher here and he could get fired. We need help from the public to get a lift to go closer to Germany. Yo, can you take us? And in these situations, persistence is key. The light is green and he's still hitchhiking in the middle of the road. Do you speak English? Can you take us? We want to go outside the city we are stuck. Can you take us? No time. Any chance that you can help us go a bit further? Me with my friend only. No, I'm so sorry. No? But then one person was kind enough to help. And that made me have faith that we can do this challenge. I'm so glad that I can help you. Be lucky. Be we lucky. need luck. The driver dropped us off at the gas station, which is key to heat checking. Because you get to talk with the people while they put gas. And this is exactly what I did with this man. Let me give you a hug. Thank you so much. 20 kilometers that you're going to take us is a lot of kilometers for us. So we're searching for a lift in the gas station. And one family came because they know me from YouTube. And they want to take us closer to Germany. So let's do it. When I was hitchhiking those times, there was no things like that. She told me about her favorite video and that she loves my YouTuber friend Eirag as well. So this video that Eirag and I sneaked into a music festival is her favorite video. What do you want to say to Eirag? Stay to yours. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you, mother, for taking us. No, no problem. I travel all over the world as well. I would appreciate if somebody would give me a lift as well. <laughs> <laughs> Off to Germany, ladies and gentlemen! Thank you so much. Bye! I'm asking hundreds of cars here and my teacher is sleeping there. Someone have to work here. But it's okay because he teach me everything I know. So the sun is about to go down. Which is very bad for later because at night it's extremely hard to get a lift. Someone came to help us and although it wasn't for a lift, it was very kind of him. I can buy you water. Yeah, some water will be amazing. Just this will be okay. amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have water for you. To avoid being stuck here all night, we just need to keep trying and never give up. I'm not going to Germany. You are not going to Germany at the moment. No. No? No, Germany. No, no, no. I live here. Ah, you live here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No. After five hours of asking people, I finally found a person. This guy will take us. He don't want to show his face, but we are going to go in his car. Getting close to Germany. People in Poland, they are good. We almost made it to Germany, but the driver messed up and dropped us off at the wrong gas station, which kinda screwed things up for us. We're stuck here with no help. It was getting dark and we're getting very hungry after only drinking water. So it looks things are not very well. We're stuck in a gas station in the other side of the road. But after us, Asking around, we found a lift. So they are saying that they are going to Berlin now. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> She's from Poland and he's from Germany. They were going fast because there is no speed limit in Germany. He's going with 200 kilometers per hour. This is the first time I'm going that fast ever in my life. I'm scared. Even over 130 miles per hour, he was sleeping like a baby. We really connected with this towel and we had a lot of interesting conversations for four hours in the car. 3 a.m. in the morning and we're starting! Woohoo! This is the coolest thing ever! <laughs> Same with Germany. So uh, guys, we have a um, surprise for today. Uh, you can choose. We can buy you two tickets yeah. or uh, something to eat. Wow. <laughs> it's good that we are in dilemma. The ticket will be good for us but to make it. This will only get us to Munich, but we are still so grateful <laughs> for all their kindness. Thank you so much. But it was 4 a.m. in the morning, so we had to wait and sleep outside on the floor until the morning. I just woke up. It's super cold. Very cold to stay here so we went inside the train station this is a train all these people they paid their train ah! 
our goal is to go to the border of Germany. We boarded to the train and after four hours we got our next city. We are now in Munich. It was great to get a free train, but it was only for one train. And we are going to need a freeway to get on another train, which can be risky. For now, we need to find a bathroom. And we saw something here that we didn't like. You pay one euro to pee. <laughs> How oh, euro you pay to pee? But for some reason, the bathroom for disabled people was free. So I found a way to sneak it. I'm sorry, but I want to pee. This is a German flag. It's a proof that we are in Germany. Tell us some stuff about Germany. You can buy it. Wheat? Wheat is legal here. Yes. Hi, boys. We were super hungry since we chose the train tickets instead of food. So we went to McDonald's. Can you believe that I found a full packet of potatoes? You are probably wondering where did I get these potatoes? From the garbage. This is how you survive without money. And you eat regular food like other people. I'm sure I wouldn't eat McDonald's even legally. I'm still vegetarian. Well, at least he's consistent to his principles. And a kind person bought us some water. Thank you so much for the water. I want to see you drinking it. It's a product of illegal. No, it's not illegal. A one kind person bought it for me. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. It's not illegal. Now we're on the way to get the train. While we were on the train station, I had an idea. To lie to my teacher that the tickets that we had will work for the train that goes to the next country, Switzerland. And everything went according to my plan. All the train is free. I have to brush my teeth because it's been a lot of time without brushing them. I have brushing my teeth. <laughs> the trip was long and I was very tired. You already know. This ticket is not ready for this train. Uh, you must so what you, do? you take off so to the next we'll station okay. and use the uh, red trains. Okay. 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 You knew it, huh? It was too risky to continue. So we listened to the ticket collector and we got off at the next station. We made it to Switzerland! Yay! He didn't sleep and he's tired, old man. We went to another McDonald's to relax and my teacher instantly fell asleep. Hopefully, he doesn't get in trouble. So I left my teacher there to sleep and I will try to sneak inside the gym. This is the gym. And just like this, I stick it. There is shower and everything. <laughs> and I can steal this bottle to put water. Oh my god, I'm a genius. I'm the happiest person alive. Gym, baby, and shower. This traveling experience is like VIP treatment. My teacher is still sleeping in the McDonald's, which isn't allowed, and I hope he will be okay. I really care about him. He teaches me everything I know, and he's the number one reason that I'm successful. The cleverest people don't seem like the cleverest people. Look what I found. Unlimited free water. I didn't drink water for the last 15 hours. Free water, baby. Now for the most exciting part out of all. The first shower of the journey. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I smell very bad. I feel so good. Woo. Life's amazing. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, Jim. I'm mastering sneaking into places. Here I want to say actually that I'm a trained professional and don't try this by yourself because I've been training for years to do this. Now it's becoming night and it will be a lot more difficult to hit child. You are very beautiful. I am not a trained professional with ladies. So now I'm going to McDonald's to find my teacher. Hopefully he still there. It's getting dark, which is going to be bad for hitchhiking again. Hello, you slept well? No one waking me up all the time. My teacher looked very cranky from not getting enough sleep. So I wanted to try to get him some food, but I still don't have any money. Bananas will be good. Can I ask you a question? Is there a chance that you can buy me two bananas, please? Yeah, oh my God, thank you so much. You see, people are kind there we go thank you so much no problem bye bye, bye. and now i'm going to give him food he would like it a lot yo teacher i have a present for you someone bought a banana for you thank you we have stuck in in, in the middle of zurich and we have to find i thought he was going to get more excited about the bananas but it's okay i'm excited but i don't, I don't show it <laughs> it's been 40 hours that you didn't eat food i told you i'm a spirit i don't need to i'm pure consciousness condensed the cleverest people don't seem like the cleverest people. Consciousness condensed. This is the gas station that we were looking for. And now we have to hitchhike. You have to. I have to. 
and I have to make holidays. I think it will be extremely difficult in the night to hit check. Guys, are you going to burn? Any questions? Are you going to burn? Okay. As always, it's very hard to convince people at night. And after no success, for some reason, these guys decided to buy us some food. Thank you so much. Hey, what's going on? I tell you, people are very kind. And we have to hope we don't end up at another bad gas station. Or else, we could get stranded. We couldn't believe that we were about to have dinner with real food. Shout out to 2 kilo. I appreciate it. Right. You teacher, you wanted a big Bread. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh my god, what? Oh my god. Thank you so much. You don't need money to try. This is a big help because you have to hydrate. We have to consume them before we take a lift. We found the lift finally after two hours. They don't want to show their faces, they are too gay. Oh my god, I'm so happy. They dropped us off at another gas station, which helps a lot. Thank you so Thank much. You. But this one was different. I'm afraid this gas station is not good. I have bad news for you. There is nobody. I have a feeling it's a good time to sleep. I made my bed. It's 3 a.m. Sleeping time. This was the hardest night so far. I just woke up. It's extremely cold. This is the lowest point of our trip so far. Come on. As I woke up, I gathered some energy and started talking to people to see if they can take us. And this man agreed to take us to a better gas station. I think this is not a good place here because... So my teacher finally decided to help and put his ancient knowledge to use. If we go this side there to this guy there, we isolate the direction we want to go. The experienced decision of my teacher worked and we found a man who was going to take us very far. We found a person to take us to Geneva, the next seat. Geneva is next to the border of France, by the way. Yeah. It's been very stressful because Switzerland is very difficult to do. Really really shy Question, why did you agree to take us? Because, you know, sometimes you find people and need to be open, you know, to these kind of things. 99% of people, you know, they are friendly. You will do the same. That's perfect. And I had the same realization through my travels. Most of the people are nice. Absolutely. We reach France. And we have food to eat. Yeah. He was kind enough to buy some food for both of us. Thank you. Here I come, Thank Nico. You. Thank you. That's great. <laughs> To see you, yeah. enjoy, and uh, yeah, have a safe trip. We miss food so much, yeah. but now we're stuck in France. Oh, come on, man. Historical bike. <laughs> The next lift was unique because someone with two kids accepted to take us. Hello, boys. Hello. Thank you for accepting my ass. Which one is your favorite YouTuber? Mr. Beast. You know that I have a tattoo of Mr. Beast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had a great time with this family and we enjoyed a beautiful view on the way. Thank you for telling your dad to take me. You are teaching them to be kind. Thank you, dad, for taking us. That was a huge success. And in this gas station, our dream became a reality. This was our dream. We found a truck driver to take us. An angel. Oh, wow. Oh my God, this is the best seat ever. There is a bed here. This is so cool. <laughs> Thank you. Low key, I'm very excited about the sleep. And now I'm living the dream. My teacher was the one who ended up sleeping. And after four hours in the truck, we finally got to our next city. The sun is about to set. Thank you so much. Bye bye. And now we are in. Still in France. We were very tired, so we decided to spend some time together and relax a bit. This is awkward again. We are sitting with my teacher while watching the sun. So romantic. We're watching the river. We're talking about physics. Tell the people the truth. This is the best way to teach students. This was a very emotional moment for me. I felt amazing been with my high school teacher in this beautiful part of France. We didn't know what's coming next in this trip, good or bad, but I wanted to enjoy this moment. I'm tired. You are tired as well? Yes, for sure. I'm going to brush my teeth now. At least I want to feel a bit clean. My teacher didn't shower from the beginning of the journey, which is kind of crazy. I want to shower as well again. Most of the experience with people have been good and we are hoping we don't have any bad situations. Situations. So now I'm going to clean my body with whatever I have. This is how you have to shower when you have no money. A public wash. I feel a lot better now. And when you're on a budget, you have to entertain yourself somehow. I follow, I follow you, baby. I follow you. 
I feel clean. You can make a shower here. It was not exactly a shower place. I went inside the sink. <laughs> I feel that I'm born again. You're born again only when you wash in the sink. We slept outside, but my teacher wasn't happy with my pillow made of garbage. Go away. I hate you. Enough with this ridiculous pillow. Enough. After a lot of time of him watching me taking a lift, I found the lift. And this is the beautiful person that I took. <laughs> this is the car. Yes. Oh, it Hello. looks cool. I can't see anything. We are going to feel young again. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> this is the best day of my life! Crazy people! It's a bit embarrassing that you smell so bad in their car. No, they don't care. Come they do care. That's why they wear it front. These guys were really cool. Even my teacher was having fun. And it didn't take long for us to get to the next country. We are in Spain! Yeah! Yeah! We stopped at the gas station to shower and we found some very cool people there. You do hitchhiking? Yeah. We came from Poland, hitchhiking. Cool. Are you still hitchhiking? Yeah, this is very cool. Youngsters hitchhiking. Even though we stopped only to shower, my teacher still didn't want to do so. This is how he showers and he's proud that he's more clean than me. And now I feel better. It feels very good to have a shower and to have clean clothes. Yeah. So our new friends took us to the only place my teacher said he would shower. To the sea! Yeah. To the no, sea! No, 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 no. <laughs> He's going to shower after four days. Here, here, here. Finally you'll shower. How you feel? <laughs> the definition of pleasure. Clean body and soul. Purified. Finally after four days. Now is the time for me to shower. So bye. See you later. I felt liberating to bath in the sea. Thank you guys, it was the best present. Uh, yeah, no, Thank you. no, no problem. <laughs> Look at this beautiful nature. I'm very grateful for being alive, this is beautiful. I was not expecting to be in a random beach in Spain with these crazy people there. Then now it's a good time for me to ask you to subscribe. Please, if this video gets 200,000 likes, I will travel across Australia for free. After having fun at the beach, our friends took us to a camping site for us to spend the night. The beautiful thing about this journey is that we have absolutely nothing and anything, any leaf that we get, any food that we get, any water, it looks miracle. Such a weird guy, look at him. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we slept on the sand, but they gave us some blankets because it was cold. This is the, probably the last day. It must be the last day, man. We're not far from the coast, man. 100 kilometers from the coast. Man. We met two people with vans and they were going to help us. So we found a lift, but we're going with two cars. Are you okay? This is your van and you live here. Kind of. She's traveling across Europe as well with the van. Travelers are a lot cooler than normal. But there was a little problem. No, it wasn't that we were hungry. Although we will have that problem later, which gets dangerous. You probably guessed it, but... I think I like the girl that she's driving me. The girl went to get something from the gas station. She's kind of cute and she has very good energy. I like that. But I hope this girl will not steal here. But we have a goal to reach to the coast of Portugal. No time for love stories. They dropped us somewhere in the middle of the mountains of Portugal. Now my teacher is teaching me how to hitchhike better. It's called auto stop. I kind of forget that you are a good teacher of traveling because I did everything in this traveling. You are the one that talks better. <laughs> but now there's no talking. Now it's just it's a movement. So this is a good place because they have sto a place to stop there and Next they have room to think about. It. This is proper hitchhiking and it's the first time that we need to do this in the street because we're stuck it's coming it's coming no i thought portugal people are good we walked to a village near the road and we were lucky to find an abandoned garden with lots of fruits look on top of me food or at least we thought it was abandoned look at this Good for dehydration too, huh? Yeah, we don't have water as well, <laughs> so we yeah. eat a lot for water purposes. He only ate two times from the beginning of the trip, so that's why he's... No, I'm not eating, I'm drinking now. So much juice. I found grapes as well. Oh my god, this is a heaven for us. But our heaven 
didn't last long. Okay, bye bye. Sir. He kicked us out of the play. Portugal, Portugal. And we're getting close to our destination. How do you feel? Me? Yeah. Tired. Me excited. <laughs> so this guy is going to pay us the tickets for the bus. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Let me give you a hug. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Hola. good luck. Thank yeah, you. Good luck. Bye bye. Two tickets. In five minutes, we arrive in the coast. Wow. Everything comes down to this moment. People are kinder. I thought people are getting worse and worse and worse. You know, compared with the time I was traveling myself, you seem to be kind. Kinder people I compared to 30 years ago. This is the sea. Look how sexy this is. People in the bus are probably thinking that we are crazy. Oh my god. Let's touch the sea. If we touch the sea, we'll finish the video. <laughs> and after five days of traveling, we made it. To the coast of Portugal! Let's go inside! Oh my god! We made it! Portugal baby! We finally came! I love you sister! Sometimes what you need is a great friend and thirst for adventure.